Hi everyone, in this program you are going to shuffle a deck of cards. So you need to write a program that creates first of all a deck of cards, shuffles it each and shuffles it each time the program is run. And shuffles it each time. So you're going to do something that we have not done so far. And I trust you're going to come up with a very cool solution. So as, as usual, pause the video, attempt the task, and you're going to see my solution after three seconds. All right, so how was the program? I'm sure you did great. Uh, so to be able to work with this program, first off, we need the random module. And then we need another module that is iter tools. Now the iter tools of for creating and using iterators in simple terms this iter tools module is going to give us a a function a method that is called product and i'm going to tell you what it is going to do in just a sec so i'm going to convert it to a list and i'm going to grab the iter tools and i'm going to grab the product function from it so this product function what it actually does is um uh, this is going to create a deck of cards for us. Well, it is not that intelligent. We need to tell it to do. It would have been cool, though, to just create it. Just call this and create a deck of cards. It's not that simple. Now, this is going to grab an iterable, and we are going to pass it an iterable here. Now, what it is going to do for us is it is going to provide us with a prod, with a Cartesian product of two sequences. What does that actually mean? So I need to provide an iterable and I'm going to say 1, 2, 14. Why? Because in each deck we have 13 cards. And if I provide 14, it is not going to grab it. So it is going to go all the way to 13. Second one, uh, and I'm going to provide it with a list as well. So this list is going to contain the name of the each uh, deck that we have. So we have heart. I'm not sure if it is deck, uh, each individual, as I think a family in deck of cards or in cards. You know what I mean. So it is uh, something like that. So we have diamond, we have heart, we have hearts, we have diamonds, we have a club, then we have spade. Now, what it is going to do is it is going to grab one of these numbers from this range and it is going to add it to each one of these families that we have provided here. And then that is going to become a Cartesian um, product of two sequences. Now let's take a look what this is going to return to us. So let's say deck. Let's run this program. Let's take a look at it. So there we go. So you can see that for number one, we have heart, we have diamond, and we have club. And this is a sequence. It looks like a tuple, and it actually is a tuple, but it also resembles a Cartesian product. It resembles a value for X and a value for Y. So we have one, and then we have two of heart, two diamond, two of club, two of spade. Then we have three of heart, diamond, club, spade, and so on and so forth, until we get to the 13th card. So that's what it actually returned to us. And this is going to be a list. So because it is an iterator, we can we have to convert it to a list to make sense. Let me close that. Let me save the program. Now that we have created the deck, what I would like to do, I'm just going to call it the deck. Then after we have created that, let's go ahead and shuffle it. So to be able to shuffle it, we are going to grab the random module and let's grab the shuffle method and I'm just going to pass in the dick. Perfect. Now we need to draw our cards, right? So I'm going to say drawing uh, the cards. How can we actually do, do that? So each time the program is run, we, uh, the user is going to have four cards or three cards. You can you can go each way. So we're going to say you have or you got the following cards. So how can I grab it? We know that this deck is um, a list, so we can iterate over. So I'm going to say four oops for not for oops for card in range four. I'm going to say, first off, let's just print the card. I'm going to say print card. And for this, 
um, what was the task creates a deck of cards so we don't have any user input here right so I could safely run it inside this Arapple window let me save that there we go so you have zero one two and three now that is not very um, comprehensible very um, uh, it doesn't make really sense so I'm gonna grab the deck and now you can see that we have got everything within that deck now what do I want to do I want to grab uh, each individual card so I'm just gonna pass in here card and let's take a look at it so if I pass in here card there we go you have seven of spade 12 of spade and then seven of club and then again three of spade that's what you're gonna get then now this is like it doesn't really uh, it's it doesn't really scream user friendly so what I would like to do is I could grab uh, the number of the card in this uh, argument and the family of the card in the next one so basically what should I pass in here what is the index of the number of course it has zero index because it is the first item so if I pass it there we go it is different because it is random now that's about that and I could grab the card itself as well and for that we are going to grab the one with the index of one and there we go so we are going to tell the user you have you have seven of spade three of club one of spade where is the heart a diamond come on uh, there we go so we have club spade heart and club these are the ones that the user has so this is a very simple shuffling of a cards of a deck of cards and that's it for this program see you in the next one